This painting has the title of Misty Trees. So I'm going to begin with paper that's taped down. And now a gentle sky. There's a lot of wet and wet onto wet in this particular painting. So there's my beautiful sky. And we will have some water here as well. I'm just pulling the water down a little before I begin to make my forest of trees, the misty trees. So I'm making it misty because it's a lot of water that I'm using and just a few shades of colour. So let's start to introduce a few of the trees now, shall we? I've mixed here almost a turquoisey green. Now I've got another medium green here. I've got a lovely Payne's grey. Whatever colours you would like to use. And I'm just dabbing in some of the trees. The suggestion that it's a misty hillside. I don't have to paint every single area, I want to leave some areas white. A little bit too wet down here so I'll just take a little bit of that off. I prefer it when the trees come to a fine point at the top and then wider and wider and wider as they come towards the, the base. Just using a mixture of colours here, I tend to go into one colour, then the other colour. Mm, another little bit of blue, so we get a variation of the shades. A little bit of Payne's Grey here, the black shade of colour. It's actually lamp black and ultramarine blue. Again, a little bit wet here, so I'll we'll just take a small amount away there. And we'll continue now to build up with some of the shapes of the trees. They're just a series of dots. Could even be a little bit of snow remaining on this mountainside.
just refining the tips of the trees here and all the time judging where to put some colour or whether to leave the colour out the white of the paper showing yes I'm liking this area here Just allowing the paint a little bit of its, its own way. Letting it have a little bit of its own character. And seeing what evolves. Depending on how wet the paper is, that will depend on how how far the paint runs. As you can see here in this particular corner the paint is not running at all because the paper is dry. Below it here in this very far corner the paint is wet and it will start to run and blend together which is quite an interesting effect. So my trees are sort of made up of a, a tall triangle really, the wide at the base, and tall and pointy at the top. And as I say over and over again, all painting is an illusion. And my illusion will soon be complete. This area here is rather wet. You maybe can see the light reflecting on it. I'll take a fine tissue, just lift a little bit of that wetness off. And then I could perhaps put some finer trees in here, just with the tip of the brush. I'm going to make some different shaped trees now. I'm going to make what I call a smiley tree. This is where the branches of the tree seem to go upwards like a smile. Smile, smile, a smile shape and then I can just tap them and blend them in together with the very very tip of my brush so we've got a smiley tree there and maybe there's a smiley tree here but it's rather wet so it's a softer 
softer shape to that. I think I'm going to stop there. It's very easy to over create your painting and I think I'm going to stop. What I would normally do with this is I would normally allow it to dry overnight but for the sake of the video I'm going to take the tape off now and remove it from the board. Perhaps I'll sign it. And we'll see how it looks just with the dark background. I think that looks quite effective. Have a try yourself. See what you can create, Misty Mountain of Trees.